the help solution we're really looking at making the vehicle more conspicuous that is to say it's more noticeable at the side of the road so to do that we are increasing the flash rate of the hazard warning lights that hasn't really changed on vehicles for many years the existing hazard warning light that we have flashes at between one and two hertz so one to two times per second and it has done for a long time what we know from many studies that have been done uh, by academic research by other companies over the years is that if you get in the four to five hertz range it becomes much more noticeable and attention grabbing but without becoming annoying we've tested at various ranges right up to 10 hertz but we find that four to five is the optimum the one to two hertz was established because of using an incandescent bulb you can't really flash an incandescent bulb at a much higher frequency than two hertz because otherwise the bulb continues to glow and you don't get it going on off with an led the advantage is you can switch it on and off very quickly so what you do need to use the help system is led lights in all positions on the vehicle when the lights are deployed we can send a signal from the lighting controller or the lighting switch to the telematic system in a vehicle which will then send an alert that says this vehicle is in distress this vehicle is in an emergency situation and then we can go into the infrastructure of navigation and telematics to send a warning maybe through to google maps apple carplay Waze system all these things are possible um, and again with digital communications in vehicles growing this is another great feature because then that way you can even get a warning of the vehicle being at the roadside disabled before you see it before it comes into your line of sight we see vehicles disabled at the side of the road as being the problem we're addressing so we develop two solutions to that one is to have a manual switch and the other thing we can do is have automatic activation there's a myriad of sensors around the vehicles nowadays that can detect what we would call imminent danger in the automatic deployment situation you would actually be able to trigger it while the vehicle was still moving uh, if the tire blew out you would warn people hey this guy's in trouble and then as it came to the side of the road it would continue to flash at high frequency and then be alerting everyone of danger for manual operation if you pull over to the side of the road maybe to change a tire because you've got a flat tire you would put your hazard warning lights on and then you would get a touch screen command saying do you want emergency lights the help solution lights on the vehicle and you could choose that whereas if you were just stopped picking the kids up from school in the car lane you just have it on a regular hazard for instance there's two ways of working on it we see the auto activation as the primary system but we could also do it with a manual mode as i say it's approved by nitsa so those are the things we're working through the details really now with the automakers for getting it on the street getting it on the road it's really the fine tuning of the details that we're working on now to implement help is relatively easy and very cost effective compared with other safety features that we see on the road today it's uh, like i said lines of code validation testing and the purchase of a technology license to implement it when you think of other features that have you know, cameras maybe um, airbags these are very expensive products that need extensive testing and development to get them on the road this feature is is fairly simple but very very effective so we see a big opportunity to really save some lives save some injuries that can be avoided with a very low cost and very quick and fast implementation we're doing a lot of work with automakers as i said we started in the us but we're also working now with companies in europe and uh, and asia um, so there's a lot of interest one of the great things about working on help is when we show it to automakers they get it instantly they're like yeah great idea um, we should do this we talk also to a lot of safety advocate groups um, you know and they see it and they're like why can't we get this on the street now so this is what we're really working now with the automakers to get it on the street as quickly as possible as with all things with technology and innovation there's always a range of how fast people are willing to adopt new things new technology so we've got some very far advanced guys that we're talking to who 
will be on the street with this, I'm pretty confident, during the next 12 months. Um, and then obviously, once we're on the street, that will cascade to others. The longer we wait, sadly, the more people will be killed or injured in these avoidable situations. And we really think that help is the way to go and will significantly reduce the number of accidents that are occurring. And we're keen to get it on the streets as quickly as possible. And with working with the automakers, we believe they are as well.